In recent years, emerging studies have confirmed the apparent dangers of indoor tanning. But not everyone is buying it. And now things are getting heated with the approaching tanning tax going into effect July 1st. I think that the tanning tax um, is a misguided backroom deal. The new tax is supposed to offset health care costs caused by skin cancer. The World Health Organization places tanning beds in the same category as mustard gas, tobacco use, and chimney sweeping as a major carcinogen. The world community, I think, no longer considers tanning debate. In fact, in certain countries like Australia, they think we're, I think they almost think we're insane that we, we allow the tanning to go on. And... The most recent study out of the University of Minnesota says there's a 74% increased risk of getting melanoma for those who tan indoors. You're actually causing uh, UV destruction or damage to the DNA to get the tan. The, the trick is never burn anybody, indoors or out. Rose Mayo has spent six summers as a lifeguard and says she's seen what a burn can look like. I, I see people, kids' skin peeling off in big strips, you know, you see sunburns, you see people who are really, really tan, I mean, unnaturally so, and I don't think it looks healthy, I don't think it looks good. And Abrahamson argues those disagreements with the studies are profit-driven. They don't profit from telling people that it may cause cancer. If anything, it would probably reduce their revenues. Still, most of the roughly 20,000 tanning salons in the U.S. are small businesses, and their owners will quickly tell you a 10% tax could cripple them. By and large, I can't afford to pay 10%. I didn't have 10% profit last year or the year before. I think it's an unhealthy business to begin with, so I don't, I mean, I, I don't really feel too sorry for them, especially because they have to know what it does to your skin and how it damages you and everything when they go into the business. Novak says his employees are well trained and advise of dangers to their customers. We tell them how long they can tan before they burn or how long is too long for their skin type. But is tanning safe? I don't like using the word safe because crossing the street isn't safe, driving a car isn't safe. They say visual impact strictly enforces the law prohibiting tanning more than once in a 24 hour period. They, people will get mad at me when I don't let them tan if it hasn't been a full 24 hours but it's for their benefit, not mine. No matter whose side you take, both sides seem to be able to agree the ultimate responsibility is with you. Yeah, we put them in the beds, but we tell them and they're knowledge enough to know whether they should do it or not. Okay. I'm Tyler Kincaid. This has been a KCCI.com exclusive.